Ravi. Welcome to Afghanistan, a country of breathtaking landscapes and rich cultural heritage. A land that effortlessly weaves together the threads of history, culture, and nature into a mesmerizing tapestry of contrasts. Let's begin our journey in the heart of the country, where the rugged peaks of the Hindu Kush mountains stand tall. These ancient sentinels have been the silent witnesses to the ebb and flow of civilizations. Their snow-capped summits a testament to the endurance of time. The mountains are not just a spectacular sight, but also a vital source of water and habitat for a variety of wildlife. Now imagine transitioning from the cool mountain air to the arid expanse of the Sistan Desert. Here, the sand dunes create a mesmerizing pattern, like a rhythmic dance frozen in time. But don't let the harsh conditions fool you. This desert is home to resilient species that have adapted to thrive under the scorching sun. As we travel further, we come across the fertile valleys of the north, a stark contrast to the desert's barren beauty. These valleys are a testament to Afghanistan's agricultural prowess, with fields of wheat, barley, and other crops painting a vibrant patchwork onto the landscape. Now let's trace the path of the mighty Amu Darya River. This life-giving waterway has been a cradle of civilizations for millennia, nurturing life and prosperity along its banks. Its significance isn't just geographical. It has been a witness to the pages of history unfolding from the times of Alexander the Great to the dawn of the Silk Road. But the true essence of Afghanistan lies not just in its diverse landscapes, but also in its people. The Afghans, known for their resilience and adaptability, have weathered the storms of time, drawing strength from their land and culture. They are the threads that bind this tapestry of contrast together, creating a vibrant and dynamic nation. Indeed, Afghanistan is a land of contrasts, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of its people. In recent years, Afghanistan has seen a resurgence in tourism despite its complex socio-political landscape. The country's rich cultural heritage, diverse geography, and the resilience of its people have always had a magnetic pull. But getting here hasn't always been easy. However, recent developments are changing the game. The country's visa procedures have been streamlined, making the process more straightforward for travelers from around the world. This, coupled with an emphasis on safety measures, has made it easier for tourists to plan their Afghan adventures. The Afghan government, in collaboration with the private sector, has played a pivotal role in this resurgence. They've worked tirelessly to ensure that once forbidden or inaccessible areas are now open and safe for visitors. They've also focused on promoting destinations beyond the well-trodden paths, encouraging tourists to explore the less known yet equally captivating regions of the country. From the bustling markets of Kabul to the tranquil landscapes of Bandi Amir National Park, Afghanistan offers an array of experiences for the intrepid traveler. And to make these experiences as rich and immersive as possible, the government and private tour agencies have developed guided tours that cater to a wide range of interests. Whether your passion lies in delving into the country's rich history, exploring its varied landscapes, or immersing yourself in local customs and traditions, you'll find a tour that's just right for you. Safety, of course, remains a top priority. Stringent security measures are in place in tourist areas, and travelers are always advised to stay within designated safe zones. The efforts to ensure visitor safety have been instrumental in rebuilding trust and encouraging more tourists to consider Afghanistan as a travel destination. The resurgence of tourism in Afghanistan is not just about attracting visitors, but also about revitalizing the local economy and fostering cross-cultural understanding. It's about showcasing the country's rich heritage and resilience and giving the world a chance to experience the warm hospitality of its people. Indeed, a visit to Afghanistan is now becoming an achievable dream for many global travelers. No one can tell the story of Afghanistan better than those who have experienced its charm firsthand. To truly understand the allure of this country, we turn to the voices of those who have ventured through its landscapes and engaged with its residents. Tourists from all walks of life have found themselves captivated by the rich tapestry of culture and history that Afghanistan has to offer. Let's hear from Eleanor, ardent history buff from London. 
She speaks of her time in Kabul with a sparkle in her voice. Getting to walk the same streets where once stood the mighty Silk Road, it's like stepping back in time, she says. There's a sense of resilience in the air, an unspoken testament to the spirit of the Afghan people. Next, we have Adam, a nature enthusiast from Canada, who was left awestruck by the rugged beauty of Bandiamir National Park. The turquoise lakes against the stark backdrop of the cliffs, it's a sight that stays with you, he shares. However, he also acknowledges the challenges, particularly the rough terrains and unpredictable weather conditions. But what about the perspective of those who call Afghanistan home? The local guides who share their homeland with the world? Meet Farid, a guide from Herat. To me, being a guide is more than just a job. It's about sharing my love for my country with others, he says. Farid believes that every visitor leaves with a piece of Afghanistan in their heart, and in turn, they leave behind a piece of the world. Finally, we hear from Amina, a guide in Kabul, who reflects on the transformative power of tourism. When tourists come here, they see the real Afghanistan, not the one they hear about in the news. And when they leave, they take our stories with them. Stories of resilience, hope, and humanity. These stories paint a picture of Afghanistan that goes beyond headlines, revealing a country full of warmth, hospitality, and untold beauty. After hearing from Eleanor, Adam, Farid, and Amina, would you consider traveling to Afghanistan? Let us know in the comments. Beyond its scenic beauty, Afghanistan's potential as a tourism destination lies in its ability to bridge cultural divides. How so, you ask? Well, when we travel, we do more than just visit places. We engage with people, with their stories and their cultures. And in doing so, we foster mutual understanding and respect. Afghanistan, with its rich tapestry of history and culture, provides ample opportunities for such exchange. Take, for instance, the bustling bazaars of Kabul or the historic city of Herat. Here, tourists can engage with locals, learn about their crafts, their cuisine, their traditions, and their way of life. These interactions, seemingly simple, can help break stereotypes and misconceptions, building bridges of understanding and respect. But it's not just about cultural exchange. Responsible tourism also has the potential to significantly contribute to local economies. Imagine a world where your travel dollars directly support local artisans, small businesses, and community projects. This is the power of sustainable and responsible tourism initiatives. In Afghanistan, such initiatives are beginning to bloom, creating a positive ripple effect on local communities. Take the example of community-guided treks in the Wakhan Corridor. These expeditions not only offer an unrivaled adventure amidst the spectacular Pamir Mountains, but also help support local economies. The local guides, cooks, and porters involved are all from the surrounding communities, meaning the benefits of tourism are felt directly by those who need it most. Or consider the guest houses popping up in cities and towns across the country, often run by families who pour their heart and soul into providing a warm, authentic Afghan experience. By choosing to stay in such places, tourists can help support these families and their communities. As we explore the stunning landscapes and rich heritage of Afghanistan, let's remember the power we hold as tourists. We can play a pivotal role in supporting these initiatives and contributing to the country's socio-economic development. Travel then becomes more than just a personal journey. It becomes a catalyst for change, a bridge for cross-cultural exchange, and a testament to the resilience of the Afghan people. The growth of tourism in Afghanistan holds promise not only for its economy, but also for peace and stability. In a country that has endured the trials of conflict and unrest, the flourishing tourism industry emerges as a beacon of hope, a powerful catalyst for change. How, you might wonder? The answer lies in the potential of tourism to create jobs and support local communities. For every traveler who embarks on a guided tour of Kabul's bustling markets or marvels at the serene beauty of the Bandi Amir National Park, there is a ripple effect. From the local guide sharing tales of ancient folklore to the street vendor selling handcrafted souvenirs, tourism breathes life into the local economy. It's a cycle of prosperity where the income generated helps families, funds education, and contributes to overall community development. But the impact of tourism extends beyond economics. It's about promoting cultural exchange, about 
fostering understanding about breaking down barriers. When travelers from diverse backgrounds come together, they share stories, they learn from each other, they challenge stereotypes. It's in these moments of connection that the seeds of peace and stability are sown. And let's not forget the role of sustainable and responsible tourism. By prioritizing the preservation of Afghanistan's rich cultural heritage and stunning natural landscapes, we ensure that future generations can experience and appreciate them too. This commitment to sustainability underscores a deep respect for the land and its people, fostering a sense of unity and pride among Afghans. The journey is not without its challenges, of course, but with each step forward, with each traveler welcomed, Afghanistan strengthens its resolve. It reclaims its narrative, one of resilience, of unity, of a rich tapestry of cultures coexisting. As we look to the future, we see a vibrant, thriving Afghanistan, united in its diversity, and welcoming the world with open arms. It's a vision of peace and stability, fueled by the transformative power of tourism. And it's a vision that together we can make a reality. Thank you, savvy viewer, for journeying with us through the breathtaking landscapes and rich cultural heritage of Afghanistan. As we've seen, this resilient country is a land of contrasts, a tapestry of cultures, and a beacon of hope for a brighter future. It's a place where the resurgence of tourism is not just a catalyst, for economic growth, but also a bridge for cross-cultural exchange and a platform for peace and stability. So we pose a question to you. Would you consider traveling to Afghanistan? We invite you to share your thoughts, your questions, your hesitations, or your excitement in the comments below. Your perspective is an essential part of this global conversation. And if you've enjoyed our journey through Afghanistan, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We have many more incredible destinations and insightful discussions to share with you. Once again, thank you for watching. Stay savvy and see you in the next video.